Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video, we go through problem three, and problem three um, has a graph here that represents a function f, and it says the graph of f is shown above for zero through four and x values. Um, what is the value of zero to four, the integral from zero to four, of f of x dx? Okay, great. Um, so we know that the integral means the area between a function um, and the x-axis. That is, if we have a function f of x and we know the curve of f of x, then we know that the integral uh, from a to b of f of x represents um, dx, represents the area between the x-axis um, x -axis and the curve representing f of x. Okay, so here the curve representing f of x is uh, this line there uh, with a positive slope and this horizontal line there with no slope. And uh, it's f is piecewise defined, but we don't have a problem with that. We can find integrals uh, over finitely many discontinuities. So we're fine. Discontinuities do not make you uh, unintegrable, if you will. So I'll do that there, and I'll draw this line also so that we could close off the borders of the area that we need to find. So this is what I'm saying. Since we need to get to 0 to 4, f of x dx, first of all, by integral rules, we could write 0 to 2, f of x dx, and then plus 2 to 4, f of x dx, and also because we understand what I wrote or read, we know that all we need to do is calculate the area in blue here of that trapezoid, and the area of this rectangle here, and then we're done. First, the area of the rectangle is an easy task. It's a rectangle with dimensions 2 and 3, so it's got area 6. Remember, it's below the x-axis, so area below the x-axis carries a negative sign to it, so it's negative 6, actually. And the area here is that of a trapezoid with base here and here, right? And those two bases, we would average in finding the area, and so 1 plus 5 over 2. I proved this formula for a trapezoid in my geometry video, so you feel free to check that out. But we multiply the average of the bases by the height of the trapezoid in order to find its area, and the height is this here, right? So we multiply this by 2 and find that this is saying 3 times 2. So this is positive 6. So what we've got is the integral from 0 to 4 of f of x dx is equal to positive 6 plus a negative 6, which is positive 6 minus 6, which is 0. Therefore, answer choice B. Okay, take care.